Before I tell you about what we've been doing, look at how cold the harbor has been. Okay, so that's the bass spirit out in Nantucket Sound. Not too long ago, we're working on a kelp farm project. We got asked to be involved in this. Um, normally, we would have had the boat shrunk wrapped by now, and I actually made a video about us shrink wrapping the boat. You can check out right here. But uh, we didn't do it this year because we got asked to be involved in this project, which means uh, we're, we'll be using the boat through the winter, and we can't have the boat wrapped. Uh, there's actually a whole bunch of equipment, there's some spools of line and stuff on the boat that we'll be bringing out uh, later to uh, continue to work on it. We've gone out, we've made a few trips already, but uh, this all started back in July. Here's a clip from um, back in July. I got an email about this project. Just got an email from Cliff Gowdy. I'm leading a project that will be setting up an experimental kelp farm out on Horseshoe Shoals near the CW Met Tower. Chip Schultz will be doing the install towards the end of October. After that, some grow lines with kelp seed are installed and the rig needs to be checked from time to time. I'm wondering if there is an opportunity to engage you for some of the needed monitoring, as Hyannis is the closest port to this site. I look forward to hearing back from you catching up. This could be the beginning of a kelp farm. So we said yes, and we've been involved so far in helping out uh, set up the array. They've already put out the main part of the array, which is two huge anchors holding these two big spreaders uh, with buoys. And they essentially have all these lines to go across. The kelp will be grown on the lines. And um, we one of the things we did after we shut down too was we had a company come and finish the Isinglass up on the helm to be completely covered up there so the captains can be a little bit protected and a little warmer. Um, but here's, um, he, the kelp is grown on the lines, which are the spools I showed you before, but uh, this is the kelp right here um, on these really thin lines and these will be strung out and they'll grow on the larger lines. So uh, we, we've, we've been enjoying doing this. It's something different to do for the winter instead of just uh, work on uh, the engines or whatever else we do, uh, which this is going to now tie into the last segment of this video. This will be a new part I'm going to add in every vlog. Will be I'm going to answer a question from anybody. You can email me or, or message in any way. And um, the first question I'm going to answer today, which is from nobody specific, but pretty much from 25% of the customers that we get on the base spirit, which is, uh, what do you guys do in the winter when you're shut down? So here's a few examples of things that we do to keep busy. Um, one would be we keep the boats clean. Uh, with the new boat, the Bay Breeze, it's been sitting out in Hyannis Port. We've had to go out. My dad's been out there many times working on it this summer. But uh, the seagulls and other birds have made quite a mess of it. So uh, when we have time, we go out there and clean that up. Um, we, we do a lot of engine work, you know, we, we, whenever we can, um, we'll, we'll take apart any of the co engine coolers and clean things and replace anything we need. Uh, last year, last winter we did the carpet in here, which I made a, you know, a video about that in one of the last vlogs. Um, you know, any interior work, I, I did a lot of the uh, hull liner, I, I made another, that was in another one of the vlogs. But um, uh, do some diving, if, if I have the time I can go down and dive and clean the uh, bottom of the base spirit, get the barnacles off the, the shaft, and I did go down and clean the Bay Breeze uh, engines a little bit at the end of the summer, and they're pretty dirty, <laughs> pretty nasty, a lot of growth on them. I did some work on the these windows, 
gaskets, which are very old, uh, I started taking that out and cleaning underneath there, which was really disgusting. There was this really just nasty, uh, muddy, moldy stuff that was in there. I cleaned that out. Water was getting in, so I wanted to clean all that out, dry it, and then caulk it so no more water would get in. Um, Ugh. So those are some of the things that we do in the winter. Um, you know, anything we can. We, we essentially do have the winter off, but there's plenty of work to be done if you if you know how boats work. <laughs> but uh, there's always work to be done on boats, and now we have two, so Captain Bob and I are very busy. So, uh, thank you for watching. If you liked the, this vlog and you liked the video, give it a thumbs up down below, and uh, check out my other vlogs and the other videos I've been doing. And please, uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe. And Talk to you later.